in this C++ tutorial I'll be dealing with uh, integer division so I'm gonna start by including the following so let's include our IO string and if you're wondering why we include an IO string is because only the IO string can be used as C out that's to output our data and C in the C in we actually out uh, that is where we input the data so C out and C in that's what I'm going to be using that for so the next thing I would do is to add the C out C in I'll be using namespace as standard and make sure you enter your me column there then the next thing is so let's just go for integer name that's our main function then the next thing is maybe I should just say one or two things right here and um, let me just enter the following C out I want that to be my my output this as my heading sorry uh, that'll be integer division okay there that's my integer division there alright just maybe two spacing and here a couple of tabs yeah okay that's cool I'll close that there this, the next thing I'll do now is just copy that paste that and this will be asking will prompt the the user enter an integer okay so now we need a C out is to take in the value that is entered so whatever value we enter which sh will surely go into a C in a but there's something we missed out that was that's a silly mistake so let's have a, a comma we have B and comma C a that's our variable that has just been declared up there I'll take in the value a then the second number and we ask the system to enter another integer enter enter and or enter the second integer the second integer maybe value if you want there all right so we now call C uh, C in again C in B now we enter B right there so now we want C to now divide this is the token for division right there B okay now C out so C out you to see out right there you can then say divided by B equals whatever the answer might be so we now come here and to C and that is all okay let's just round it all up into this right there let me enter some space in there good and now uh, underneath here let's just add a line there I need a line right there come underneath here paste get a line in there yeah that's good enough and maybe another one here that's the heading that's good enough let me take this off now we need let's go for system post without the system post the program will just flash in front of your eye and you will not see anything so let's add the system to return there okay so what is left now is to make sure we close 
I'll call it a bracket there. Let me, let me move this up so that you guys can see all of the code. Move this up. Move this up as well. And this, take this up as well. And come right here. And here. That's your color bracket. And I think that's all for this uh, integer division tutorial. So let me, let me run, the, run the program right now. Make sure you save your file. Save as integer division save it's already saved so just click yes now compile and run so the system is now asking you to enter the first value so I enter 24 and uh, let's say 23 so 3 divided by 24 that will give you 8 right here you can see our answer on your far left so let's try and bring the answer to the middle as well let me take this off. Yep. Hey, yeah, let's just get it there. I'll run the program. Enter the first value and maybe divide by four. And what you get is eight. Remember it's an integer. If there's any remainder, you will only get an integer value, which is an which is just a whole number and that will be all for this very tutorial you can carry out one or two modifications if you want which is that that's very easy maybe maybe something like uh, bring that down a little bit and uh, let's run it and see what will happen that's that's fine you can see that the that's gone up oh there's an error here let's get rid of that yeah that's it right here okay that that gun so enter your whatever you want you intend to divide as 24 divided by 6 and the answer is 4 there so I'm gonna call this the end of this integer division tutorial and I suppose you all enjoy it you all have a nice day now there is the code bye for now